this is obviously not the first biography of Sue. There have been four or five other ones, in, one in French, one in Japanese, several in English. But this is the first biography which has access to material about the most important part of her adult life, which was when she was on the campaign trail. And her closest friend at the time kept a day-by-day -day diary when they were travelling around the country campaigning before the election. She kept it in English and she happens to be a very good writer and a very amusing, dry, droll, good observer of people. And she has given me full rights to use this material. So in the heart of this book there is thousands and thousands and thousands of words, hundreds of pages, which describe Sue in her everyday life. What she wears, what she eats, what she feels, the jokes they crack, the, how lonely she feels, how she's missing her family. Um, all of the non-political aspects, these are basically the personal aspects, which come out with incredible vividness uh, in the story. The sad fact is that this woman, uh, who was so close to Sue at the time, herself went to jail, spent three years in jail. After that, she came out and she had changed her opinion. The military intelligence had got to her and she was now one of Sue's enemies. Nonetheless, she has decided that she wants this diary to be made public and this is the first time anybody has seen it outside Sue's immediate family.